Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have finally another ranking video. I've been wanting to do these before I do my declutter, but it's just I've been putting it off so much. I just need to do this. So I decided today I was going to rank all of my bronzers and I did not realize how many bronzers I really had until I dumped them all out to kind of put in order. And I have, I have a problem, so I really need to declutter ASAP, but I did decide to go ahead and do this with my bronzers. I have 28 of them here, so I'm going to be ranking them from worst to best. I have 28 bronzers, which is insane, so it's really hard to do this because I feel like there's not like a big space between them. Like a lot of the ones in the middle, I feel like the same about, and so it's kind of hard to see like which one I would prefer over, but I think I kind of got it figured out. So let's go ahead and get started. So my least ranked bronzer at number 28. This one is from Lorac and it is their Tantalizer Buildable Bronzing Powder in Beach Betty. Got this at TJ Maxx and I've tried it a couple times. It is not for me. Probably for sure decluttering this one. It's very dark, very red toned and maybe it's just I picked up the wrong color. But I didn't really care for the formula either. It just it did not did not look good on me. So that one for me is my worst ranked. Maybe if you've tried it, if you have a medium to deeper skin tone, maybe you enjoy it a bit more. But yeah, that that's not not my favorite. <laughs> This one is another TJ Maxx find, but it's from NARS and it's their Laguna bronzer. But I feel like there's definitely something weird with this one. It doesn't say in here, but I think it's called the Sun Washed like, Diffusing Bronzer. And there is something up with this formula. Like it's a little bit different than the original because I have an original Laguna and I compared it to this, like a little mini size. And the original had a little bit more shimmer to it and it just it was more like smooth and blendable while this one skips a lot and it's hard to build up product like you really have to swirl your brush in there hard to get anything out of it so i think it's just the sun wash the diffusing kind is just not good and i'm just i don't like this at all so that's why it is number 27. all right number 26 is actually a Too Faced one and is their Gingerbread Tan Spicy Bronzer. I got this in a cute little holiday set because it had a gingerbread man on it but I think this one is also a little bit too dark for my skin tone, that's why it's ranked so low. But I also am not a huge fan of the formula. Just anytime I wear something that's a little bit too dark for me, it just does not look right. And I, I think this one was a bit patchy. I've been having some issues with my Too Faced bronzers that used to be like my favorites in my collection, but now, I don't know, they're kind of getting towards the end besides a couple of them that I really love and I'll show you guys towards the top. But yeah, I've just been really struggling with some of the ones they put out and this one was not for me okay number 25 this is from pretty vulgar i've been trying out their bronzer formula i started with this one that i got in my boxy charm i also have a lighter shade which i didn't include different shades if i have doubles of them just like one because the formula should be the same but i have to say i'm just i'm not a fan of these bronzers they have so much powder kick up and it's a weird formula that i just did not like it was very like light and it wasn't really silky but yeah it just did not look right on the face I actually tried this one for the last time today and I was like, no thank you. So I have on the bronze B and I had to go over it with something else and I still don't really love how it looks on me. So I'm like, I'm done with these. I tried the light one as well and it just wasn't for me. So unfortunately, I just did not like the pretty vulgar bronzers. Number 24 might be a surprise, but it is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I feel like it's just my bronzer. I don't know. I used to like this. Maybe it's just too old. I've honestly had this for way too long, so I don't know if the formula changed. I know they did reformulate these into new packaging, so maybe I just need to try the updated version. But I tried this again the other day, and it was so patchy. I was like, oh my goodness. Like, did I really used to like this? Because it is not, not cute on me. I don't know what's up. It's, it might be old because, yeah, this is probably at least four four years old at least maybe even more so I don't know it could just be the old formula but I've heard very mixed opinions on this like with the updated packaging and everything that people don't think it's as good as the old formula but maybe it's just outdated like there is some other Too Faced bronzers I really like but I feel like maybe this has just had its time and now it's done and I don't really like it anymore, which is so odd for me. Okay, next up is this one. This is from 
uh, the balm and I do actually like the color of this but something is up with this formula because mine has all these bumps in it which kind of grosses me out like it seems like something is wrong it's not really even that old I don't think I'm pretty sure I got it maybe 2018 but it's had these bumps for a very long time and I just don't know if that's okay to use as this weird like red pigment in there I don't know what is going on with this thing because I did think it's a really nice color I think I have the shade Oscar and it's nice because because it's very cool tone it's called an anti-orange bronzer but yeah I don't know I just don't feel safe using it with all those weird bumps and stuff going on it's like I don't know if it somehow got contaminated or got like too much oil in it something's up let me know if you guys know what's up with that this next one I think we're at 22 hopefully I don't lose track here this is the benefit hula light so I did include hula light even though I have the hula in here as well but for hula light I actually use this a lot but I don't really care for it anymore. I used to really not be into bronzer and that's when I really liked this because it was it's really light and you'll see from the swatch it doesn't really work for me anymore. You have to be super super fair for this to show up and while I liked that back in the day now I'm kind of self tanning like every week or so and it just doesn't work as much as it did. This is definitely the lightest bronzer I've ever tried so if you're super fair you might like it but for that reason that's why it's lower on my list. Another one that's very light this one's from pure the bronzing act in light uh, I don't know I wasn't a big fan of this formula it's very dry I kind of like my bronzers to be very smooth when I touch them and this one just felt really hard-pressed um, I just like the smoothness because I feel like it blends out better I do really like the smell of these though so that is a plus it does smell like vanilla but yeah that one I didn't really care for here we have another Too Faced bronzer again uh, this one just came out and I wanted to love it so bad because it is adorable this packaging it's the Sun Puppy bronze but something is up with this formula it's very skippy and patchy just like some of my other Too Faced bronzers so that's why it's ranked really low I tried so hard to love this but it's just not for me and I just feel like it is already getting hard pan I don't know if you guys could tell it's very annoying I know you can get rid of it with tape but it's like really why is that happening uh, in a brand new bronzer but anyways I'm so sad because because yeah, this is so cute. I want to love it, but I do have other ones that I way more prefer than this one. Next, I have this MAC bronzer, and I don't know what it is. I just really don't reach for this. I don't think it's necessarily a bad product. I think it might just be a bit dark for me. It's sun-soaked strip. I just am not using it as much as the other ones. I have so many more that I just am in love with, and this one was just okay for me. I don't think it's bad, but I don't think it's that great. I think we're at 18. For this one, I have an Ofra bronzer. This is the Bronzer Duo in River. I've been testing this out quite a bit. I just got it a couple months ago. I have to say, I don't think I'm a big fan of the Ofra bronzer formulas. I think they put a little bit too much shimmer, which I usually like a little bit of shimmer in my bronzer, but this is just a little bit much. And I've tried some other Ofra bronzers, and I've since then decluttered them. I love their highlighters, and they make some good blushes, but I just cannot get what their bronzer formula is just a little too orangey on me and a little too shimmery so that's why it's ranked a bit lower but I've still been playing with it and I can definitely make it work with the light hand so I don't think it's a bad bronzer that's just kind of my opinions on the Ofra formula okay this one as well I used to love this but I just haven't been reaching for it lately so that's why it's kind of in the middle this is the Laura Mercier matte radiance baked powder in bronze 03 it's just a little bit too warm. I kind of need an in-between, and that's why I haven't really been reaching for this. I have so many in the middle that I really don't think are bad bronzers whatsoever. I just have so many bronzers it's kind of hard to kind of decide which one is gonna go ahead of the other next one is my cosmetics bye bye pores bronzer you guys know I do like this one so these aren't bad by any means like I was saying but I do like this formula a lot this one's a little bit more hard pressed though like I said I do prefer like a softer finish and I do like the color of this one it looks dark but it actually goes on a bit light but I don't think this is bad I think it's actually a pretty good one Next one we got a drugstore one which I ranked it a little bit lower because I haven't used it so much. Although I really do like this and I think it's a great drugstore bronzer. It's the Revlon Skin Lights in a Sun Kissed Beam. I think it's so beautiful. This one is very light and it gives a very much natural bronze and it has some sheen to it which I do prefer a little bit of um, 
shimmer and my bronzers I do feel like they look more natural on the skin and they do seem to blend out a bit more than just a matte one I did rank this number seven one up one spot higher. It's another drugstore brand. I haven't used this in a while though, I will say, but I used to absolutely love this. And I did rank this a bit higher because it used to be a favorite of mine. And this one's more matte, but it does have a more cool undertone. So I feel like it's not as orangey on the face, which I do like from time to time. And I feel like it fits my skin tone a bit better since I have pink neutral-ish undertones kind of in between so that's why I ranked that one one spot higher and then I chose my sweetie pie bronzer from Too Faced I re actually really enjoy this one I've loved it for years now but what's really unique about this one is it has like the peachy tones baked in with the bronze tones and I actually love it together because this is something that I could mix together as like a blush and bronzer in one so I don't really have to go in with a blush over top because it has that kind of red undertone and it actually looks really good and natural on the skin so I did rank that one up a bit higher from my Too Faced bronzer. Okay next which is kind of surprising that it's a little bit lower but I, I actually do like this one. It's the Tom Ford Glow Bronzer in Gold Dust. I did rank it a bit lower just because it's so pricey and I don't know I have some other cheaper ones that do perform better that I like better I don't think it's bad at all I think it's a beautiful color but it is it's very glowy so this one has a lot of shimmer to it I don't know if I mentioned this one was in gold dust I think it's beautiful but yeah it's definitely one of those that's very warm and very sparkly so next I actually ranked ColourPop above that one just for this tone I think this is so pretty this is the coconut beach bronzer I hope that this is still available I think it's sold out but hopefully it's not limited edition because I just don't like to recommend those kind of things if you guys can't get it. But I will say this is a pretty close dupe for something I ranked even higher in my collection, which I will talk about. But this one definitely has that more cool undertone that I love. And it's so soft. It's a bit powdery, but I just love the softness of how it feels. And it blends out really well. Next, I have my Fenty bronzers. I was absolutely obsessed with these when they came out last year. I don't use them as much. I use some other stuff more. Um, I was more into matte bronzers, but now I like the more shimmer. And this one is very matte sometimes I feel like with these matte bronzers they could skip a bit when I put on so I have to be very careful this one is Shady Biz and I do really like it so it's pretty high on my ranking list this next one is by Marc Jacobs and I recently just bought the full size but I've had a mini for so long that I've absolutely loved and used and this is another one that kind of is that really soft buttery formula that I love this is in Tantric and it's a beautiful color it's not too warm this is more of a matte bronzer maybe a slight very slight shimmer I just think it's so natural and effortless so this one ranks pretty high on my list okay on to number eight we have the Too Faced chocolate gold I really do love this bronzer and it's a good one for I would say a medium um, deeper skin tone because it is pretty dark but I love the shimmer in here one of my favorite Too Faced bronzers for sure I think it's absolutely stunning so that's kind of why I want to try their reformulated like milk chocolate and chocolate soleil because it's this I think it's supposed to be the same type of formula so you guys will have to let me know if you like them but I love this one and I feel like it's on sale frequently so definitely recommend it for sure but yeah this one has a lot of sparkle in it it's a bit deeper so I usually use this when I have um, self tanned next up number seven is a matte bronzer again this is Hoola from Benefit this is such a classic I have loved this for many years and it's probably one of my favorite matte bronzers I feel like it's so nice it's not patchy it doesn't skip when I'm putting it on and it doesn't look muddy or dirty it gives me a really nice bronze so that one is number seven. Another Too Faced one in at number six here. This is another shimmery one that I've loved for many years. It's the Sweet Tea Bronzer. I probably need to get a new one because I've had this since it launched. Pretty sure it's probably from 2015. That's really, really sad. Um, but it still performs amazingly. So I've kept it in here. It's such a beautiful bronzer. I ranked it higher than Chocolate Gold because it's a bit lighter. And it's very shimmery since it has that highlight side. But it looks so natural on the cheeks. Whenever I wear this, I just love how my bronzer looks. Top five. We have Lawless Beauty. Their bronzer. I don't even know. I think this one's golden something. It doesn't have the name on here. But this is so good. Love the color. I can wear this. Um. Um, like now or when I have self tan on it's beautiful another matte shade and I feel like it looks amazing on the skin it's very easy to blend and it has that really soft buttery formula that I love it's more warm but this is definitely a favorite and that's why it's in my top five number four we have a drugstore bronzer which is also a cult classic which is 
Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I love this one because it's not too dark and it also has that more cool undertone to it. So it's been a favorite and I still love it after so many years. It's still my number one drugstore bronzer and I love the smell of this one too. It smells like a beach vacation and it has that buttery soft formula again. That's why it's called the Butter Bronzer. Coming in at number three is from Hourglass. I recently picked this up again and started using it and I forgot how much I loved it. So I had to rank it pretty high. This is in Nude Bronze Light and it's so pretty. It has their ambient powder mixed in so it's very natural and just kind of works with the light that you are in. And I love it so much. It has a slight shimmer to it and I feel like the color is perfect. Number two is a oldie but goodie as well. This is from Tarte and is their Park Ave Princess Bronzer and I'm almost of hit pan on mine so you guys know I love it but this one's a beautiful soft formula as well it has a lot of shimmer to it too um it's like a gold shimmer but it's beautiful it looks natural not too orange on the skin and it blends out amazingly so it's number two and I've been talking about it and using it quite a bit lately and then my number one I had to pick Marc Jacobs uh Tantastic because it's just amazing I feel like you get so much value for this it's very expensive but the Look how big this is like literally uh, it's as big as my head almost I've had this since I think 2017 and it's still good once again that soft formula that I love it blends out nice and it has the perfect coloring which is more a little bit more cool toned and it's a lighter kind of bronzer so I feel like it looks very natural and you could use this to contour or bronze the skin so that's why this one is number one for all, like how much product you get and also the color and the formula and the one that I thought was actually really similar to it's ranked lower because I don't like the formula as much this one I feel like is a little bit more powdery and it doesn't blend as well the color pop coconut beach is very similar so I did want to mention that but yeah that is ranking all of my bronzers all my powder bronzers <laughs> and I felt like we had so much I definitely need to do a declutter and this definitely gave me an idea of which ones I should be getting rid of so stay tuned for the bronzer declutter I think I'm gonna have to go in order of my drawers though so we'll see when that will be up but I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope it was helpful I really do love a lot of these bronzers I would love to know like your top bronzers as well I'm always looking for new products to try out but thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later bye guys